2021. Happy birthday to Jose in Mrs. Sims' room, Jordan in Mrs. Mensinger's class, and Abigail in Mrs. Jerica's room. Tomorrow, Ireland from Mrs. Starr's class will celebrate her birthday. Our core value word this month is patience. St. Francis de Sales said, Have patience with all things, but chiefly have patience with yourself. Bearsville students and staff, remember to be kind to yourself and have patience. And since it's a day for the mindful moment, you'll want to show patience as you breathe through that exercise. We also have breaking news to share with you. The exciting news is that there is no school tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, or next Monday. We look forward to seeing everyone back at Bearsville next Tuesday, April 6th. Have an awesome day, Bearsville! Today in history. On March 30th, 1981, President Ronald Reagan is shot in the chest outside a Washington, D.C. hotel by John Hinckley Jr. The president had just finished addressing a labor meeting at the Washington Hilton Hotel and was walking with his entourage to his limousine when Hinckley, standing among a group of reporters, fired six, six shots at the president, hitting Reagan and three of his attendants. White House Press Secretary James Brady was shot in the head and critically wounded. Secret Service Agent Timothy McCarthy was shot in the side, and District of Policeman, District of Columbia Policeman Thomas Delahanty was shot in the neck. After firing the shots, Hinckley was overpowered and pinned against the wall, and President Reagan, apparently unaware that he had been shot, was shoved in his, into his limousine by Secret Service agents and rushed to the hospital. The president was shot in the left lung, and a twenty two caliber bullet just missed his heart. In an impressive feat for a 70-year-old man with a collapsed lung, he walked into George Washington University Hospital under his own power. As he was treated and prepared for surgery, he was in good spirits and quipped to his wife, Nancy, Honey, I forgot the duck. And to his surgeons, Please tell me you're Republicans. Reagan's surgery lasted two hours, and he was listed in stable and good condition afterwards. The next day, the president resumed some of his executive duties and signed a piece of legislation from his hospital bed. On April 11th, he returned to the White House. Reagan's popularity soared after the assassination attempt, and at the end of April, he was given a hero's welcome by Congress. It's time for our mindful moment. Let's prepare our body and mind. You are sitting in your seat. Your feet and your arms are relaxed. Your body is calm, your mind is clear. Let's take a nice, relaxing, deep breath. Let's get started. Relax and settle comfortably in your seat. You are sitting in your chair with your feet planted on the floor. Close your eyes. Soften your face muscles and take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Focus only on your breathing. Leave behind any other thoughts you are having. You can pick them back up when we are finished. As you breathe, notice how your belly rises and falls. As you breathe in, Feel your belly fill up with air, and as you breathe out, notice your belly fall back towards your body. Take a few more deep breaths like this. Continue to focus on your breath, and remember that you can go to this relaxed place anytime throughout your day with just a few simple breaths. Now. Slowly wiggle your fingers and toes to bring some movement back into your body. When you are ready, slowly open your eyes. Hey, we'd like to go ahead and end the announcements. Um, but before we do, we hope that you have a super day learning here at Bearsville. And um, we just want to remind you about this Bearsville expectations. Drive to do your best. Take responsibility for your actions. Always be safe. And respect everyone. 
At this time, we're asking everyone to please stand for the playing of the national anthem, and then you'll do the pledge in your classroom. Have a great day, everyone.